The cultural iceberg is split up into two different segments, observable and not observable. The observable segment is above the water because it's something that's visual, like behavior or practice. It could be the clothes you wear or the music you listen to. Not observable is below the water because it's much more subtle, like your attitude towards something or your core values, good and bad, acceptable or unacceptable. Something that may be polite in one culture, like shaking hands or making eye contact, could be very impolite in the other. The cultural onion is a circular display of culture. The outermost rings represent things that are less important, while the innermost ring is the most important piece of our culture. The outermost ring is symbols. Things or icons that we feel represent us. One inside of that is heroes. Heroes are the people that inspire us to do what we do or be how we are. The second innermost ring is rituals. Things we perform on a daily basis or often enough that they become a piece of our lifestyle. And the core of the cultural onion is values. Our values are the rules or guidelines that we live our lives by to show what's really important or what is important to us at least. Our symbols, heroes, and rituals are shown through practices that we perform. Our values are far more subtle and don't reach the surface as much, but they're always there. In this slide, I'm supposed to say which one I believe is more true, the cultural iceberg or the cultural onion. Really, neither one is more true than the other. They describe the same thing, just in a different manner. Both are true and are a good commentary on culture. Although, if I had to pick, I'd say that the cultural iceberg is explained more smoothly. But that doesn't make one more true than the other.